Parts of speech. Common nouns are words that name people, places, and things. They are known as general nouns, which means they are not specific to anything or anybody. In a sentence, the noun is the person, place, or thing that can be acted upon. Examples: I like my teacher. I will visit another country. What is your favorite book? Proper nouns name specific people, places, and things. Examples: Mrs. Crane is my favorite teacher. I was born in Taiwan. Animal Farm is one of my favorite books. A verb is a word that tells the action or the state of being of a sentence. Let's look at the following sentence. Here, walk is the verb. It tells the action of the sentence. One, the students walk home. In the second sentence, shared is the verb. It tells the action of the sentence. Two, Kevin shared his cake with Carol at the party last night. In sentence one. The action is taking place now. In the second sentence, the action took place in the past. Add ed to the present tense of a regular verb to make it past tense. If the word already ends in the letter e, then just add the letter d. Examples: Act, acted, cook, cooked, wave, waved. Irregular verbs are verbs that do not follow the same rules as regular verbs when forming their past tense. They must be learned. Examples: Am, was, bite, bit, catch, caught. Adjectives are words used to describe a noun or pronoun. Most adjectives are common adjectives. Common adjectives are not proper, so they are not capitalized. Examples: The cold water felt good on the hot day. Water and day are nouns. The adjectives cold and hot describe the nouns. Proper adjectives are formed from proper nouns and are always capitalized. The children wanted snow cones and French fries at the amusement park. Adverbs are words used to modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. An adverb tells how, why, when, where, how often, and how much. Adverbs often end in ly, but not always. Examples: How or why? Softly. Courageously. Forcefully. When or how often? Sometimes. Yesterday. 
always. Where? Here. Inside. Below. How much? Generously. Barely. Liberally. Let's look at the following paragraphs. Can you identify common and proper nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs? Jesse Owens lived from 1913 until 1980. He didn't have much money growing up, but he had ambition. He worked tirelessly at part-time jobs to help support his family. His high school coach noticed Jesse's talent for running. Because of work, Jesse couldn't practice with the team after school. He graciously accepted his coach's offer to train in the morning. Jesse was anxiously recruited by many colleges and accepted an offer to Ohio State University. However, since he was African American, he received no scholarships. He continued to energetically work, study, and train. In the Berlin Olympic Games in 1936, he became the first American athlete to win four gold medals. He also broke many track records. Remarkably, his records lasted more than 20 years.